Skia. If you're after a healthy yogurt that still has that rich, fatty taste, then going Greek is a popular option. But what's this fat-free Icelandic variety that's popping up on our supermarket shelves? I've started buying that skia. Skia? How can it be fat-free but yet super creamy? It's low in fat and sugar, but high in protein, um, with all natural ingredients. So I don't know how that can be possible. How on earth is it fat-free? You would wonder, wouldn't you? Obviously, the thicker the consistency, you'd, you'd imagine the more fat it would contain. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. There's something those Icelandic people have done to it. To find out skiers' secrets, I'm off to the land of fjords, fairies and fat-free creamy yoghurt. I need to get stuck into some of that traditional skier. The thing I can't work out, something so creamy is so low in fat. Yeah. What are you Vikings hiding? <laughs> to find out, I've come to meet Bjorn Gunnarsson from Iceland's biggest skier producer. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hi, I'm Bjorn. The early ancestors of these girls arrived here by longboat. This is the, the one and only Viking cow. So these are the Vikings' cattle. This, this is what they brought with them yeah, that's to produce true. their meat and their milk. How much milk do you need to produce skier? To make one kilo of skier, we need 3.5 litres of milk, more or less, compared to yogurt, uh, which is just one to one. And so, so you need much more milk to make the skier. With three and a half times as much milk as normal yogurt, no wonder it's so rich. But how can it be fat-free? Time to get our skier-making clogs on. So the secrets are through here? It is. Let's go. First, the milk from the dairy is pasteurised. Then it's put through a centrifuge and separated. We separate milk into skimmed milk and cream. And why is that important to your product? The skimmed milk is the base of the skin. So if they've taken out the fat, how is it possible to create that creamy taste? The next step is to ferment the skimmed milk. They use a starter culture that's centuries old. Is that unique to skier, then? It is unique to skier, yeah. It's unique to our skier. This is it. This is what makes skier, skier. They may use a special bacteria, but surely there's more to it. So tell me, what is the difference between yoghurt and skier? The difference is that the skier is basically categorised as a uh, fresh cheese. Skier isn't a yoghurt at all, it's a fresh cheese. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But it's the next stage that holds the key to skier's fatty flavour, as the curds and the whey are separated. Here we have uh, the whey that is coming out. See, so that one side is your skier being formed, and the other side is the whey, the separation. But unlike yoghurt, where most of the protein is lost with the whey, this clever contraption retains nearly all the protein. Right, so this machine's about keeping as much protein in the skier as possible. Yeah. This protein packing process is repeated until the skier gets thicker, creamier and fit for a Viking. So how much of this do you sell a week in the UK? We are selling around 15,000 cups per week. Will it turn us into Vikings? Yeah, who knows? 